That's why that saber saber rattling is so effective, and through this entire GOP run, we've we've seen so much of it. And 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 after the after the Belgian situation, I know this is this is really a digression, but just on the fear thing, they were so able to uh, make political hay with that, and with they were going to bomb them, you know, into. And then I think you referenced the fact um, in a post here on TYT, the fact that you can't bomb them more than we've bombed them. I mean, in a way, yeah, we've, yeah. we're running out of bombs. So, but. That rhetoric, really, uh, this fear rhetoric, mm -hmm. this anti-LGBT rhetoric or whatever in these laws, it really works. It does. It has a limit, maybe, but it worked. It worked for George Bush in 2004, got him reelected. Um, uh, and they'll continue to go to it until they're totally proven that it doesn't work. Yeah, well, fear is a huge driving force in, in humanity. It just is. And so they, that, they don't have, uh, you know, the positive forces on their side, right? They can't say, hey, let's go for... A, a new optimistic future, right? Because they're afraid of the future. They don't want the future, right? They, they don't want change, and they don't want progress. They're against progressives, right? Yeah. Well, the shadow of ISIS they've made much, much bigger than than it actually is. As bad as ISIS is, and as medieval as they are, I mean, wow, they have effectively told that story, and that narrative is cutting for yeah. sure. So, I mean, look, last two things. So, ISIS is horrific. The the, the butchery and and then they destroy ancient cities that belong to all of us. I mean, a, a thousand things wrong with them. But are they about to take over San Antonio? Come on, right? Are you more likely to be shot by a crazy gunman in your neck of the woods or an ISIS terrorist? Not even close. Definitely by a crazy guy well, with a gun in your neighborhood well, rather well, than ISIS. Right, but now where, where, where Bill Maher and that group has mm -hmm. a point um, is that, okay, the crazy, and I, the crazy gun nut who is much more likely to kill you, much more, 50 billion times more likely to kill you, isn't trying to get a nuclear weapon. Mm -hmm. Well, I, okay. So, look, that you're getting into a whole different thing, and yeah, we, that's why we have to be smart in how we defeat ISIS, but no one is arguing that we shouldn't defeat ISIS. Right, okay, right. right. I, just right. You, I just wanted to get you to say that. Right. That's right. <laughs> of course, of course, <laughs> right? But I also would like to stop the crazy guy who's near my kids. Right. Yeah. That's the guy I really, really got to stop while we go and find, figure out but how to make just, sure they don't get nukes. But if you just, by, but apparently all you have to do to guarantee that they don't get nukes is use the phrase radical Islamic terrorism. Then why doesn't somebody use it? <laughs> then they won't get nukes? <laughs> just say it. Say it. Why won't somebody say it? Okay. Uh, but we, go ahead. Sorry, super last thing for me is I figured out in the middle of my rant why they're so gung-ho against abortion conservatives. Mm -hmm. It's because the last place they felt safe was the womb. <laughs> when they were in fetal position. And they've been in fetal position since because the conservatives are afraid. They're afraid of the Muslims, they're afraid of the gays, of the blacks, oh my God, the Mexicans, right? The they're light. Like, yeah. now they're afraid of the light. They're afraid of the light. So they're like, oh, protect the womb, the last golden place we were in. <laughs>